good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you for joining us for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Wyatt Goolsby, in for Lauren Ashburn. President Trump says he's willing to walk away from his upcoming summit with North Korea if, quote, things don't go well. Today, he's preparing for the historic meeting by consulting with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. White House correspondent Mark Irons reports. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Wyatt. Prime Minister Abe hopes the president will help secure Japan from Kim Jong-un's missile threats and fight for Japanese people who have been abducted by North Korea. Today, President Trump is saying he isn't concerned about being ready for his high-profile meeting. I think I'm very well prepared. I don't think I have to prepare very much. It's about uh, attitude. It's about uh, willingness to get things done. But I think I've been preparing for the summit for a long time. After their meeting in the Oval Office, President Trump and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe stepped out into the Rose Garden where they held a joint press conference. Both leaders agree this is a historic opportunity to seek peace with North Korea. I hope the upcoming meeting in Singapore represents the beginning of a bright new future for North Korea and indeed a bright new future for the world. Both President Trump and Prime Minister Abe will head to Canada for the G7 summit this weekend. A concern for ally countries there will be the trade tariffs that President Trump has imposed on them. After the G7, the president flies directly to Singapore for his June 12th meeting with Kim Jong-un. And President Trump said today if his meeting with the North Korean leader goes well, he will invite Kim Jong-un to the White House. Wyatt. White House correspondent Mark Irons reporting. Thanks, Mark.